Hello, I'm Richard Brooks of Damp to Dry Construction Limited. We are based in Nottingham, but carry out works to damp properties across the whole of the Midlands. There are three main types of damp in buildings, rising damp, penetrating damp and condensation. This video is designed to give you an insight on the causes and how we can treat them for you. Firstly, we can look at rising damp. Rising damp is the moisture that rises up from the ground in a structure when a building's damp course has failed. This occurs in the external and internal masonry walls. There are lots of reasons the original damp course could have failed including movement of the building, alteration works to the building or even one not being installed at all. If left unchecked this can cause severe damage to the fabric of the building manifesting in damp and crumbling plaster and rotten wooden skirting boards and floors. Telltale signs of rising damp are white salts in the form of a white powdery crumbling plaster or a tide mark of damp plaster running along the wall. We use the full dry zone rising damp treatment system. The first part of the treatment is to remove the skirting boards and to chop off the plaster to a minimum height of 1 meter or 300 millimeters above any signs of damp back to the brickwork to the affected walls. The next stage is to insert the new damp proof course using either dry zone DPC cream or dry zone DPC rods which will stop all future rising damp completely. We then apply a 5mm thick scratch coat of dry zone or dry coat salt and damp resistant backing plaster. This will act as an anchoring layer so that the next coat can be better applied to form the desired straight wall finish. Once the scratch coat has become firm we apply the plaster coat that is cut back and straightened to match the existing plaster on the walls above the treatment. Finally we apply the traditional pink finished plaster that is troweled smooth and blended in to the existing walls to leave an excellent dry wall ready for skirting boards and decoration. Sometimes if there is a high level of damp in the walls to be treated we adopt a belt and braces approach and install a dry base flex membrane to the effective areas before plastering. This forms an impervious barrier, totally eliminating any damp surfacing through the new plaster as the drying process takes place. It's applied using a dry base flex membrane bedded into a dry base flex adhesive, which is then ready to take the traditional wet plastering system, leaving the walls permanently dry and damp free, ready for decoration. I hope this video helps. If you don't think it's rising damp that you have, please watch part two of this video or please don't hesitate to give me a call if you need any more assistance with your damp problem. Thanks for watching, Richard Brooks.